Friday and it was so hard to get up this morning. Oh my god, I am tired. <sighs> I love horses. In the meter, the four wheeled meter. It's definitely a lot spookier with a lot more fillers than yesterday, so could be interesting. <laughs> Shiny after his wash yesterday. You look very good, Cal. Good boy, where are you going? See you later, Fiona. very brave boy but I'm kind of disappointed with how I rode definitely didn't do him justice he's only a baby though like you know he's never gonna be in a nice consistent rhythm and stuff like this it is hard to get him like that but um yes we have lots lots to take away from this and we're definitely gonna do lots of practicing at home I do have one more class tomorrow on him it's just 90 centimeters so it'd be nice just to pop him around that nice and easy um so yeah he was a brave boy he jumped everything I just rode like a like a little bit of a gobshite sometimes like you know it, it just happens you know we'll be better next time so this 125 round on Welbeck was a speed round so every fence you knock you just add time instead of having faults so I decided to go hell for leather and <laughs> do some kind of crazy turns it worked out for me at the start but um as you can see near the end she gets a little bit flat unfortunately so yeah we do this one i nearly fall off trying to get this turn which was a bit ridiculous <laughs> we go inside and jump the jump here yes on a nice angle and yeah i was just having kind of fun trying to do turns because while is so brave she will literally jump anything from anywhere um actually after this round two people came up and complimented her and one asked was she for sale so I thought that was a great compliment that one there I absolutely sliced so well I'm really proud of that one um and then the rest of the course is more kind of gallopy and less turns which doesn't suit her so much this was a triple we were kind of unfortunate to knock the middle part um and then here I can't really remember what happens does she knock this um she doesn't but yeah, there I completely forgot how many strides was in it and was going to take one out and realised that wasn't going to work. So I sat her back up, but it was too late. And there she was just getting a bit flat and rushed. Um, but we actually placed because our time was so good. Um, we would have came like third if we hadn't knocked. But um, yeah, I was really, really happy with her. <laughs> she was a good girl. It was really fun. Pretty much. Well, like, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Pretty much interview. Yeah. Thoughts. And what do you think is going to be? What's going to be accomplished? Here and. Yes. Yes. You can look at it. Yes. Thank you for giving me the vlog. Hello, Holly. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. How are you feeling after your 125? Um, I'm feeling very fast and dangerous. Okay. And how are we going to change that for the 130? We're going to be safe and slow. How are you feeling about the swell bag? So I, um, I just want to go to bed and <laughs> eat some dinner. <laughs> eat some dinner. <laughs> Thank you very much. Best of luck with your one Thank you very much. International. Brought to you by <laughs> McLean.
So your vlog is going to be fantastic with all this I stuff. I can't wait. Oh, look. <laughs> I think I hired the cameraman. <laughs> Thoughts? Groom. Top groom. <laughs> I hope you're not looking for a pay raise. <laughs> if I was the groom, she'd have a boot oil on. Well, chores in Valbeck is all you better head next to go. Couple of fences down in that first phase, eight there from Holly Lanehead and uh, Valbeck, eight faults. This is Holly Lanehead and well back after competing in the International yes. 130 competition. Yes. How do you think it went? I think it went okay. I was happy with how I rode. We were a bit unlucky to number three. The double I should have sat up. But it was very good. Overall, when you think about the other cool. seven, yes. eight fences, they were pretty good. Cool, calm and collected. Nice rhythm. Well, not really in the warm up, but. <laughs> not in the warm up? No, no, no. Warm up was Don't cross Holly in the warm up. <laughs> Boxer! Got given out by the, um, by the steward for jumping the fence the wrong way. <laughs> Just been told that my back boots are on the wrong wrong legs. I was so like that yesterday. <laughs> so look, <laughs> it's okay. We'll do better tomorrow. We all have our mistakes. <laughs> Thank you. Very and a quick bye. word from our sponsor. Our sponsor. Our sponsor. Volvic. Yeah. Volvic <laughs> tea and veterinary. <laughs> goodbye. Think goodbye. We're allowed vet. We can't take the vet out of the girl. <laughs> Thirty-seven point nine. Oh. Good night, Carl. Good night, Fiona. Good night, Fiona. Good girl. You're so big. Hey guys, today is Saturday and first up, Fiona is in the 110. So I'm gonna go walk my course now real quick and then I'm gonna feed them. And my voice is gone. Again. I love my life. A wild Brona appears. Hey, Cal. Come here. Come here. You're so cute. So this was Fiona's 110 round. This is her last class of the show. It started off really well. Here is the little um, the vertical. Yep, no problem. We come around to as Oxer. Yep, jumps out nice. She's just she was just being very very good. It was a nice rhythm and everything like this. This fence was also quite nice. Then here she sees something and just I don't know like. She just doesn't realize we're jumping the jump. It was such a weird thing. I think those horses in the trees there distracted her or something. So it kind of messed up our rhythm. And then we jumped a triple. She's never jumped a triple before. That first part was meant to be two strides. She did it in one and then obviously it was way too close. And then, yep, I just couldn't stop her. That was, it was just, yep, um, quite messy. So basically then she took off and I could change, adjust her stride for the last fence. So I just kind of pointed at it. Um, yeah, it just, it just kind of escalated and wasn't so good. You were an absolute lunatic. Sorry, one stride and a two stride triple. Thank you for trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. Love you though, we have lots to work on. Casually nearly died on Fiona. That was um, entertaining to say the least. I couldn't stop her from, from about halfway through the course. And yeah, we have lots to work on when we go home. That's what I like about shows though, like, I mean, you're just running at home, you think everything's going really well, but then you go to a show and it just like shows up all the things you need to work on. Like I'm really motivated to go home now and like do loads of grids on her and we experiment with different bits, so yeah.
So this was well back in the 125. This was the last 125 of the show. So it was like a Grand Prix format. It was also quite a technical course. Um, there was lots of really funny distances and dog legs and lots and lots of people had quite a lot of faults. So I was really happy with how this round went. And um, you can't really see the first fence there, but she jumped it well. Then it was a distance to another vertical. Um, then it was this really weird line. It was like an S shape of dog legs. So I think I did six here. And then I think it was uh, six or seven to the little vertical then. Then here, I think I was kind of thinking of yesterday, I was too strong into the double, but then here I just needed a bit more leg for that back bar, unfortunately. Um, but that was the only pull we knocked. Here was another distance. Um, she jumped really well. Yeah, I was just really quite happy with how she was jumping and how I was riding. I was really trying to be neat and sit up, uh, which can be hard for me when I'm getting nervous and things like this. So here was the triple. So I think I rode this a lot better. I was um, forward over the oxer and then I sat up for the last part and she jumped it good. Then here was kind of a subtle dog leg. It was a weird, and I cut it too straight and then kind of left me a bit of an awkward stride. So I had to adjust that last minute, but um, she cleared it, so she was a good girl. Just one down in the 125, but it was proven pretty difficult with lots of people having lots and lots of faults, so not too bad. Fiona's absolutely delighted with herself because now she gets her food. That's all she cares about. She doesn't care about jumping to your hands. <laughs> Good girl. Look at what Cal does to his stables when he keeps pawing. Look at the angle he's at. Because this is like a slope. You can't see it in the video, it's so annoying. But there's like a huge hole here. And then like this is really high. Like look at his bum, how, how much higher it is. You're so bold! And he makes a huge mess of it and digs all the gravel that's outside into his bed. So his bed is more gravel than shavings. Anyway, rant over. I love you, Cal. Had a shower, so I'm feeling super fresh, even though the showers were kind of dodgy and pretty gross, not gonna lie. And I'm just feeding the horses for the night and then I'm gonna go watch the four year olds tonight. Good night, well back. Really windy tonight and all the jumps set up for tomorrow have all fallen down. So they're gonna have to do it all again in the morning. Oh I feel so bad for them. And Holly is riding Cabino. And now this is Cal's 90 centimeter round. I rode him too forward to the first fence and he got quite excited. I wanted to do a book afterwards. But then um, I luckily I got him back for that uh, next one and we got a bit more under control then for the third fence, luckily. Uh, so yeah, um, we we're just coming around to the next fence. He was quite good in this round. He was pretty focused, listening to me. He was quite careful too, as you can see there. We actually have the very last fence down in this round. It's quite annoying. It was quite a twisty course as well. Like, it was weird. Like, look at that turn back. That didn't really make sense, but we're just going to go with it. And then you, like, turn back on yourself now for this double. It's just, it just wasn't suited for four-year-olds. This wasn't a four-year-old class, by the way. It was um, an open class for all horses. But yeah, he was good. He jumped his little double. Um... Oh, coming up, the tractor comes right next to us, and yeah, he's kind of afraid of tractors, apparently, um, especially when they're right next to us, and we <laughs> nearly have an issue here. The tractor's right there, 
Um, so I don't really blame him. It was a really narrow gap as well, but he got his shit together and he jumped that next fence. I was so proud of him and that one. So yeah, he's a, he's a good boy. It's all our learning experience, you know. It's all desensitizing him to all the crazy things that can happen at a show. <laughs> so there's just uh, two more fences left. This one, she jumps quite nice as well. And this one, it was really small and he jumped in quite strong to it and just kind of tipped it there, unfortunately. But I was really proud of him. It's home time, Welbeck. Everything's packed up. Our little thing. See you, Welbeck. I'm not seeing you. See you, Mill Street. I'm from Welbeck. I just don't even care. We're going home. Welbeck can't wait. She's dragging me. <laughs> We just had a temporary stop for some snacks. And now we're gonna hit the road and head home. Can't wait. I'm probably gonna sleep. I can't wait to sleep. Cal is so lazy. <laughs> nah. Cannot be arsed. Oh, there he goes. Oh, the book. Daddy's going back out to his friends. With his new favourite um, trainer, Declan. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, he's like the height of you. <laughs> hmm. Bye, Dally. <laughs> oh, I missed you the most. I missed you the most when I was gone. You little, little birds. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> Good boy. You're so cute. Alright, so that's it for the vlog. Um, basically, I know it was a complete mess and nothing was explained at all, but um, hopefully I'll write down in the description what this video is about and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you.